A very warm welcome back to the Thursday edition of City News. Still to come tonight, we talk life insurance and life cover, the rise in GST on your premiums. Mm. What does it mean for you? We'll find out. Uh, also, Layla is in from Movie Time in Ongataha, reviewing some uh, DVDs for the kids over the school holidays. Diabetes, though, this is a big problem uh, in New Zealand, in Rotorua as well, to talk a little bit more about the eye side of things. Uh, Tony Bland, uh, welcome, Tony. Hi there, how are you doing? Been away on holiday? Yep, had Looking a bit of a tanned. Rain. Can you see that, <laughs> Naomi? Tanned face. Um, diabetes, how common? It's becoming more and more common. Um, you know, uh, the numbers in Rotorua are gradually just increasing, you know, fairly consistently. So, you know, um, about seven or eight years ago in 2002, there was about 1,300 odd people were registered in, in Rotorua. And now we're up to about just over 3,100 people. So it's on average, you know, about an extra three or four people a week are being, being newly diagnosed with diabetes that didn't have it before. So, so is. is, is is it a concern for you as, as, as optometrists that this is happening? Yeah, it is, because, you know, diabetes can definitely affect your eyes and your vision. And if it's not controlled, you know, it can be something that has quite significant effects on the individual person, but for the health system as a whole, you know, can may get to the stage where it basically overwhelms it if, if the numbers aren't, you know, controlled in any kind of way. So mm. I've got diabetes, right? So what's it going to do to my eyes? Well, what happens in, the, in your eyes, the retina, when you look right in the back of the eye, is lots of really fine blood vessels. So when we look in there, normally you see them just laying over the surface of the eye. And what happens in diabetes is, in the early stages, not a lot happens to the eye. But in the long run, if the sugar levels, the insulin levels are fluctuating too much, what happens is the blood vessels get damaged and they can leak into the eye. And um, sometimes you just see the odd spot here and there, which is, means that things are changing, which... You know, we keep a closer watch on it and, mm. and talk to the people about it. And in other cases, you can get more significant leakage in the eye, which can have some pretty detrimental effects on your vision. So, what I mean, if, if I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed as having diabetes, is it then, do they then refer me to go and get my eyes checked, or is that something that I need to do myself? No, that, what happens <coughs> is there's a, the doctor or, or there's a, a database that's kept of all the diabetic patients from Rotorua because caring for people with diabetes is quite a team effort. Looking after your eyes is only one aspect. So it's a team effort with the GPs and, and the practice nurses and there are specially trained diabetic nurses that teach people about how to take care of their diabetes you know, on a more day-to-day -day level. Uh, they also have uh, regular blood checks to make sure that their, their kidneys and their liver are, are, are okay and also have feet checks as well and also the retinal checks at the back of your eyes part of that equation too. So there's a database kept of all the people to ensure that everyone's getting the care that they need and getting everything's looked at. So that's taken care of for the individual in the background and then uh, yeah, we're, basically we look at sending them a letter about every couple of years to just take a look at their eyes and make sure things are okay. And if, if, if there is a problem, if something is happening within the, in, the, in the eye, what can be done? I mean, are there treatments that can... can yeah, there is. Primarily in the early <coughs> stages, the, the interval that we look at people's uh, eyes decreases. So we're basically having a, having a, keeping a closer watch on things. And if there are just early changes, you know, we're talking to people about what they can do in terms of trying to keep their blood sugars steadier and, and taking care of themselves. Um, and then if it gets to the stage where there's more significant changes, then we're referring them over to uh, eye specialists, the ophthalmologists, and uh, they look at various treatments to try and slow down the progression of the changes in the back of their eye as well. But primarily the underlying issue is always trying to get the individual to maintain a steadier um, sugar level at the end of the day. I mean, is it, is, it, is it the case of an end result could, could mean blindness? Yeah, what happens is if the leakages occur, the retina actually, parts of the tissue in the retina actually kind of um, die or get scarred, if you like. And, uh, you know, that, if that occurs on a repetitive basis, yes, then people can go blind from, from diabetes. Um, you know, and the idea is to try and prevent that and, and try and uh, uh, catch it early and do something about it early, as with most of the eye conditions, you know. It scares me a little bit when you say that you look at blood vessels on the back of the eye. Um, how do you do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, the, pro the process is really easy. Basically, when people come in, we essentially just check their vision, um, and then we put some drops in there in people's eyes to dilate their pupils, basically to give us a better view. And then we essentially just use a retinal camera. It's just effectively a regular camera with a special lens that allows us to focus right down through the pupil to the retina at the back of your eye. So we literally just take a digital photo and show people on a screen. And uh, we find that's great because you get the image straight away, but we can really show people, OK, yes, your eyes are looking good, keep up the good work, or no, maybe there's some changes, so you need to do something about it. And maybe, you know, if you don't keep the, 
look after things, here's where it might go downstream. So the idea is to try and educate people and, and show them what things are happening with their eyes. And uh, you know, people really find it's really useful in terms of being able to show them you know, what is actually happening. Because a lot of the time too, with many eye conditions, you look normal on the outside. Mm. So you don't get to see you know, what's happening inside. And quite interesting and, and quite right. You say it's a, it's a matter of educating people about the changes going on in yep. their eyes. But in order to pick up those changes, they have to come regularly to see you. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really important. Yeah, it is. And so, you know, one of the things we try and talk to people about is, you know, if they if they move or change their address is to let their GP know, because what happens is their GP will update the details in the database so we can get in touch with them. Mm. And normally the tests only need to be done every couple of years. You know, generally, if there are no changes in the back of your eye, the research has shown that your eyes don't typically change very quickly in diabetes. So it's, a, it's very much a gradual thing, you know, often. Um, and, and as I said, at the early stages, if we do see some changes, we just shorten down the interval and just check things more frequently to, to make sure we're right on top of things. That's the way that works. Nice to have you back from holiday, Tony. Great, cheers. And, Thank you. Uh, good to catch up. Yeah, and I'll see you again soon. Uh, after the break, Alan is in. We talk uh, that life cover. We talk the increase in GST on your premiums. Uh, what difference is that going to make for you? Um, yeah, you better stick around. We talk with Alan next.